Hello there everyone! Welcome to another episode of this co-op campaign with uh, my good friend Mr. Smart Donkey and me. He's playing with the Nervii and I'm playing with the Swebi. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so we're just um we're actually just checking out the, the buildings and such to see which units we have. And the Nervii actually have a quite a, a good uh, a good spot to go because they have access to ballistas and uh, a sword unit, I believe, really early on. And that, that kind of, that, that's cool for him. It's going to help him out to get the Visontio province. Indeed. Actually, actually Germania Minor. The Visontio is the settlement. I got to remember those things. So it's on my turn. I got to build up this barbarian fortified city. I'm still not taxing this uh, Kasurgis because of the food, but I'm researching to get more food, so I, I guess that would be fine. Yeah. Yo. And I'm gonna end the turn. Hopefully, he's not gonna catch it. Because. Uh. Well, no, I, I don't think oh, so. Oh, I do have them to replenish, so that's fine. Yeah, and, he, he would have to run all the way around as well. Yeah. So, uh. In any of your... Oh, they, they want peace with me. But they Silly want me to man. pay them. Poor boys. I never get it wow. why they, they want <laughs> me to pay them. Oh no, you're killing us. How about you pay us for peace? Yeah, I never got that one. Really. You know, it's like if... Uh, when Brennus sacked Rome, if he was paying them. Can you imagine that? <laughs> yeah, silly. Yeah. Alright. Uh, my warlord leveled up. That's always good. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is I might declare war on the uh, <clears throat> on the Fasuncio or the uh, Sequani in Fasuncio, just so they maybe uh, plan on attacking me instead. Because then I can just <clears throat> sit there and um, I don't have to actually siege them out or anything like that. That might be a little bit easier. Yeah, you, you could get a, a good angle, or yeah, I might uh, be able it, to ambush them. Yeah, that's that's a good idea. Nope, they uh, might just come in against your ambush. Yeah, exactly. Which would be nice. And obviously they can only come one way and uh, it will be directly through the ambush. Yeah. Right, so I'm thinking I need to upgrade one of my skills on my Warlord. Let's see. I don't really like... I want to get an extra zeal, but I don't really like the um, the things that come with this. I don't, I don't like Coer, Slaughter... Assault Patrol and Assault Time Watch because my champions are usually just sitting in my army, not doing anything. Um, so can't remember which one is for to getting that. The um, it's not traditions, it's skills. But there's one good for when you want to go that way, you know, to to give stuff for your yeah, armies. yeah, the unit uh, experience and stuff. Yeah. But he's a little bit he's too low for that now. I think I'll just go for the coerce and slaughter one in case I do need to assassinate another oh, um It's actually agent. still on the zeal uh, stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see if I can uh, sabotage these people. Come on, 53% chance you can do it. And she failed again, or he? Oh, at least he leveled up from it this time. Yeah, that's it's a something. great thing, actually, when they... they they successfully uh, uh, level up even though they failed. Yeah, exactly. They okay. learned more than they usually would. Yeah, you learn from your mistakes, of course. Yeah. Uh, let's see, so the Sequani. Uh, oh, actually, these people are the same blood. I'm gonna kill my close relative. Oh, too bad. Well met, friend. Mm. Sit and let your words see, move me to anger or agreement. Uh, should I ask you to join me? Uh, yeah, I can decline if, if it actually doesn't, because I can't see the, 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 the screen until it happens. I think I actually I just won't get, I won't call you, because then uh, I would, I would Where use my at? other ally as well, probably. Alright, so now we need to go into ambush mode. I've never actually done this before. Let's see, how does that work? Go into stance, ambush, and then... Yeah, uh, then it's set. Alright, so, I, oh, oh yeah, hold on. Would I have a better chance of uh, doing it if I were to go Fun. into a light forest? Um, really? Yeah, right here I only have a 35% chance, and in the forest I've got a 65% chance. Oh, I never actually checked that out. So, yeah, do it. Go into a, right, the light forest and check it out. Let's see if I can go into normal stance again. Yeah. Can I still move? Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, I would take attrition, though, and that's not worth it. Because oh, okay. it's uh, frozen, uh, frozen regions. Yeah. Uh, how about right here? Hopefully he'll chance. force march into you. That way you can ambush them. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I can't. It's all 
uh, attrition. Don't want to do that, so let's just uh, sit right here. Thirty-five percent chance. It's uh, it's it's a chance. Yeah. All right. Um, besides that, do I have anything else to do? A war target available. Uh, okay. Let's see. I can't upgrade my building right now because I need raised sight, which I am not going for for quite a while. So uh, I'm just gonna save my money for. I guess I can start building on my second army, to be honest. So let's do that instead. Yeah, the initial money gives you a lot of uh, choices. Yeah, indeed. All right, so I'm gonna enter. Okay, research complete. I now have better farms. Nice. War declared from you. Household expense. A sealed army has been discovered by your forces. Where? Oh, it's it's your army. I discovered it. <laughs> it's, it's so strange when these events happen. No. Uh, you found me. We were playing hide and seek. I lose. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, supply for engine. Yeah, I need that blacksmith now. And I can have better farms. That would give me less public order, but what? It doesn't matter. I actually need that because otherwise I can't tax this province. And it's gonna take... how much? Let me check. Four turns. Okay, hopefully this other province, Istrus, actually has something. Uh, let me check. Istrus... Eh, yeah, they actually have something. Alright. So I can just sabotage the their army. I failed, but they... I really like this one. When they fail, but they gained the the money yeah yeah quite cool indeed they have quite an army there but nothing that I can handle so yeah the gonna move up men. yeah do you know how it works the attrition the stuff you really have to micro through the roads which is kind of oh right yeah I'm yeah. watching you do it right now yeah yeah. I've never I've never really played uh, much in these territories, so I've never actually had an issue with it yet. Yeah, uh, the but, desert uh, is terrible for that. Oh yeah, indeed. Yeah. They just die almost all the time. Because the problem is that they don't die when you end the turn, they die instantly. <laughs> just as you cross, you die. Yeah, really? it's silly. Yeah, really bad. So I'm gonna have some slingers here. Or Germanicus. I actually prefer the skirmishes to the slingers, but just because they are, because of the, uh, they they will always shoot like two or three times, you know, and cause yeah. more casualties than actually the slingers doing uh, the same thing. Yeah, exactly. I I like uh, slingers when I'm defending in a city like a walled city exactly. they, they have so much ammo yeah and then like in regular battles they only really have chance to shoot t twice or three times anyway and then the javelins are just a lot more damaging than the, or the uh, slingers are yeah and uh, but overall when I was playing my Rome campaign uh, any ranged unit was just completely inferior to any melee units that Rome had so I, I barely used ranged at all after a while yeah, and um, I've been using them a little bit more again now. So they actually seem more useful than they used to. But uh, yeah. yeah, compared to Rome melee units, it's absolutely horrible. Yeah, it's still not like Rome where you can actually win with just a study the whole game. Yeah, exactly. But um, even then, it it was quite even harder to to do, especially yeah. because uh, all Rome infantry is so vulnerable to to cavalry in the initial game. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. They actually didn't move out. No, I'm a bit uh, sad, saddened by that. I was yeah. hoping they would. Well, if you poison them, maybe maybe that would trigger. Hopefully he can succeed at poisoning. 60% chance. This is the first try. Come on, man. You can do it. Messing with the enemy. And... Filled! This guy is just not great. <laughs> and he's also been exposed now, right? So he's filled three times in a row now. Every time it was higher than 50% chance. Uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Maybe uh, maybe that's because he's actually having that 10% chance of success for hostile actions, actually. Uh, yeah, something is happening. I think it's because he wasn't, he's not concealed, he was found, or something like that. Yeah, he, he was found just now after he tried it, so I'm not okay. sure. I think I'll, uh, I'll move him out of there next, uh, next turn and see what, what happens. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I cannot do much anymore besides just training more men. I guess that second army, I might start sending up north towards the 
Actually, I'm not sure. Uh, the province that's in between the two of us, the... Uh, uh, Magna Germania. Mag yeah, that one. Who do you uh, think should get it? Uh, doesn't doesn't matter to me at all, actually. I, I'll have a lot of trouble going even against uh, Swabia, you know, to get my uh, my initial province. So you can have right. it. You can have it if you can snipe it, you know, really fast. Yeah, because I'm thinking of going uh, north first in the Free Sea or whatever you call them, uh, and then yeah. uh, I I can start marching south basically to Tully, Fordum, and then uh, Uborsis. Yeah. So Go for it. That should be good. All right, I'll um, I'll do that with my second army. We'll be okay. a little bit before I start taking them. But anyway, for now, I uh, I'm gonna end turn again. Yep. At least uh, all this waiting around is giving me lots of money. So if I do take a town, I can spend all my money right away. Yep. Same thing. Uh, I actually need my blacksmith to build up a little bit. But first of all, I'm actually going to try and sabotage them again. Yeah, your spy seems to be a bit better at that than mine. <laughs> well, I, I'm making him a saboteur, actually. Yeah. Well, he succeeded again, that's good. Yeah, that's quite good. Oh, they actually have an agent right there as well. Yeah, I'm gonna try and siege them out. I don't know if it would help it out, but... Oh, aren't... Why aren't they actually... Oh, it's because of my spy? Really? Is he in the way? <laughs> he is in the way. He, he oh, they wow. can't actually move out of there. That is so silly. Yeah. That's really annoying, actually, because they're making more men. And if you would have gotten there, you would have been able to stop them from doing that. By yeah. By them or attacking them or anything. Well, we're going to have to wait a little bit on that. Still, Indeed. no problems at all. Do, can I recruit any agents? I can't remember. No. Too bad. Let's just actually. End the turn. Uh, I started with a champion, which is quite lucky. Oh yeah. I don't, I don't think much I've ever started you. with one. Yeah, because I can't make them yet. I just started with one. Yeah, because you start with actually two agents instead of just one, which I yeah. I start with just one. Yeah, I started with one as well, but I made the spy in the first turn. Yeah. So let's see if they actually try to attack me. I hope it so. seems they are willing to. What are they talking to you? No. But it stopped on their turn. Yes. For, oh, their oh, agent's doing dude. something. Yeah. I wonder if he's going to poison me. No, you oh, kill him. <laughs> I wounded him or something. Good. Oh, they are attacking. Oh, nice. Wow, that's surprising. Okay, so I think I could actually take them out if it weren't for the garrison army. So um, the, the good thing is that he's not going to replenish easily. So I'm just going to retreat and check if he tries to, to come against me again. All right. That's the idea. No, he went back, but at least he's not going to get a lot. I can, um, I can take my spy out of the way. It's yeah. Much better. And their agent's gone as well now, so you won't have to worry about him anymore. Yep. Yeah. No, he actually retrained a little bit, but not enough to to gain it all. Ooh, my general cut plus one zoo and plus one line of sight for a pet raven. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, that raven is quite good. Let's see what he has right now. He has plus 5% morale for all units. That's probably better. Uh, oh, I'm not really liking how these guys aren't coming to attack me because I really can't go over there and attack them either. Yep. I'm gonna try and start poisoning them some more. See if maybe we can do it this time. 66% chance to do it. Come on! Yay! Yay he did it. It worked. Level up. <laughs> it's about damn time. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What can we get? Uh, tempt and poison. Now, the poison is the assassination one now. Yeah. Uh, I think I might still go for that. Yeah. I don't really care about the other things. Yeah, I'll go for that. Um, and I also like manipulation too. Sometimes you see a really good uh, enemy agent and then you can just take them. Oh, I've never actually used that. Oh, I've used it so... I, I had it um, in my Rome campaign. I, I had about eight enemy agents constantly sabotaging my buildings. And I had like three of them. So after uh, a few turns, I basically took over six of their agents. And they were all like high levels as well. So I had like tons and tons of agents. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's pretty useful. Uh, God, this isn't going well at all. I can't do anything. Let's see. I should have started making my uh, range units first because they're actually cheaper to upkeep. It's not a big deal, but 
Mm, small mistakes. Um, I'm thinking I might start going into their territory, just maybe to lure them out, because they might come for me, possibly. Wow, yeah. That, yeah, you're right, by the way, that poisoning the supplies, that hurts them a lot. I didn't think it did that, that much. Yeah, it, right. it, it does. And in the, if you have the, the spike completely fully upgraded, it takes a lot of them, you know. Yeah, because right now it took yeah. like four of their units down to half, and then a bunch of other units to maybe yeah. five, four of four or five, ugh, four fifth of their yeah. max what, size. Once you have like two scouts doing it all the time, doing that all the time, it, you can actually uh, get them to the red really fast if they yeah. keep getting success. And it's cool. Um, oh wow, my scout just got plus five cunning. That'll help them out. And it's pretty good. How yeah. can I help? All right. Oh, what were you gonna say? Uh, it gives you four line of sight as well. It gives you a lot of line of sight. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. The enemy wounded. Supply foraging. Nice. Uh, there's disease in Lupfurden. Hmm. Poor boys. Oh, no. No unit replenishment. No growth. Well, it only takes two turns. Oh, Construction. Better than the plague, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, definitely better than the plague. Yeah. So I can build the blacksmith now, actually, and that gives me German ballista. Nice. Quite nice. Yep. So in terms of recruitment or building up, bronze? No. What the? Where is it? Oh, woodworker. Where is the? The iron stuff. Nothing here. Wow. Oh my god, it's way down in, uh, ahead, actually. This uh, tech tree works a little bit different. I don't want the lower masses hurt. Barbarian small town. Where are my the sanctuaries actually over there I'm just checking my um, my tech tree actually right. although I could check it on your turn and just select it now the uh, cattle range it's all right wait a bit I don't need this root of dignitaries that would be nice yeah that would would be nice wouldn't it meeting hall I guess I'm gonna go for this war dance, just because I want uh, berserkers really fast, and I can take them. Yeah, that's why I'm going for the uh, infantry chainmail. I just want to get those oaf sworn as soon as possible. They're such a ridiculously good unit. Yeah. At oh. least from what I've noticed when I fought them. Yeah, another sabotage well made, nice. and now I can actually attack the damn settlement. <laughs> Hopefully. Wow. Yeah, you are screwing those men up. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it and circle them. And cause them to, to attack me. That's the All best right. idea. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Just if he doesn't do anything, I'll just cancel the encirclement and poison them again and then attack again. Oh, yeah. Does it reset the uh, surrender? Uh, it resets, but. Well, yeah, well, you, they take more then, damage than you yeah. do, so. Yeah. Exactly. That's worth it. Uh, I'm actually getting a few. a lot of money, so I can recruit more units. Money is good. Yeah. I like money. Yeah, and still I'm not able to to have uh, taxes on on the settlement that I got. All oh, right, yeah. yeah. Probably they will attack me now. Nevertheless. All right. So uh, just now we actually had a bit of a a bug. We um, or well, you got attacked by uh, the boy. And mm -hmm. uh, we actually fought the entire battle, and after the battle you decided uh, you wanted to kill off more men, which is a reasonable thing to think. And then apparently uh, the game has some sort of bug where if you after that uh, leave the battle, we won it obviously by the way, uh, you leave the battle and then the game sort of uh, quits on itself, or at least it kicks us out of the game together. So yeah. then we restarted it, uh, thinking that the same thing would happen, we would have to fight the battle over, but apparently they didn't attack, so now basically we're off. Um, yeah, after the turn, but uh, you not getting attacked, so the boy is still yeah. right there. So we and, just uh, edited out uh, from yeah, the video. Yeah, basically the nothing happened for you guys, but we figured we'd explain it anyway. And it was kind of bad because it, it was a nice battle. 
Yeah, indeed it was. Right. Um, anyway, I have the plague in Tuli. Oh, actually, the plague is in Tulifurdum, which is a nearby land, which is not my land apparently. Oh, it's right there. Oh, that's that's fine. Okay. They hate me, so. Yeah. <laughs> <Then rot. laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, faction destroyed the Idui and war declared between the Nori and the boy. So the boys are getting attacked from some other side as well right now, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, one one of the worst things about the plague, or actually the, the it always makes me giggle because I always remember of um, Monty Python. Oh, you know, gods bring out your dad. You never watched. Monty I Python? yeah I I watched uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail is isn't it? I yeah, watched yeah. that like a long long time ago. I really don't remember much of it. Yeah, but there's that guy saying bring out your dead, and he gives you a gold coin whenever someone gives him a corpse. Right. So it's actually a, a business. He he goes and kills the guy so that he oh, can give him the the coin, something like that. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Oh wow, this guy is now ninety percent chance of a positive outcome for poisoning provision. So he's yeah, actually pretty good guy now. Yeah, and he's probably gonna fail either way. Yeah, he's no, probably he's gonna die soon. And that's one of the worst things. No, about. yeah, well, I, I checked his age. He's only twenty six right now. So he would, oh. if he would die, it would just be from, uh, from getting assassinated or something. Uh, probably, or just from his own poisoning. You know, just messing up with the. You know, giving giving the the other guy water and drinking the poison or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, do you think I should uh, siege them out or encircle them, or should I just keep on sabotaging uh, them for a while? I would have to know which units they have. I don't know. Uh, so right, they have. Uh, let's see. They have. I can't see. Five. Oh, sorry, five. Nine levy freemen, one mercenary Gallic warrior, one light horse, two Celtic slingers. One Celtic youth, actually four Celtic slingers, one Celtic youth, two mercenary Gallic light horses, and one mercenary longbow uh, mm. hunter. And then they also have another general with one more Celtic slinger there. And of course, their garrison, which yeah. uh, consists of 11 units. Holy crap. Actually, I would just move here. Uh, it's kind of, It might sound weird, but that's because um, if you click his uh, army, that's where he can reach. So. If he attacks you and you don't want to fight it, oh, right, he can yeah, retreat yeah. and he can't uh, come in. Exactly. That's right. the, the, the good spot. Just to try and lure him out, you know, fight yeah, one, one army at a time. Yeah, his, uh, I, I guess his his um, uh, units from inside the village wouldn't come in. Yeah, uh, I think help. they are too far away. Yeah. yeah. So Alright, well, let's, uh, let's hope that happens or that works. Uh, and if not, the second army is starting to become pretty big as well, so I can just run that over and then have two armies attack it. Mm -hmm. Should be fine too. And I got another trait, which is ooh, poison provisions plus five percent casualties for all units. Not bad. Yeah, that's Man, that's exactly I, the 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 full uh, tree. It helps out so so much with the poison. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I'm glad you told me about all this because I I never really did it all that much. I I always yeah. thought it was just like it can't be that good, you know. That's what I thought. But apparently, it really is that good. Yeah. The, the wreck baggage train is actually uh, good on the late game because it takes away most of their, the, their advantages. Bonuses. Yeah. Yeah, like the weapons and armor stuff. Uh, I not guess. only that, and also the um, uh, the defenses. For instance, uh, someone, uh, an army that has uh, uh, fireballs and such, that also destroys oh, right. that. Oh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. But it's cool if you're, for instance, if you're always using Force March, at least you will be able to to keep that under wraps. Indeed. So one faction was destroyed, the Aedui. Yep. Quartermaster support. Attrition, I lost 300 men, but probably probably nothing. It's and not too bad. the plague is on Rugion, yeah, as you said. Oh, there's actually more plague going around. Hmm. It's on oh. Swabia. I hope there's not a trouble there. So I'm gonna tax my province. Oh, minus five. How much food can I get from the Swabia actually? That gives me three food, so I can't tax it already. Kinda why bad. um why don't you move the army from Lopferdum into Kassurgis just to keep them a little bit happier than they are right now? Um I'm actually waiting because uh, for now Lopferdum was getting uh, trouble with uh, with the heaviness. It's at zero, but it's because of the, the Yeah, from the, the army. army yeah. So I yeah. want to barely enter there when it's necessary. 
and uh, also I want to cause a rebellion. I didn't talk about it, but now that I oh, think yeah, of it, they, I want to cause a really small happiness. rebellion so that yeah. the the happiness goes a little bit away. It's, it's ridiculous how much it like it goes up by twenty per turn, doesn't it? Yeah, and the the first one isn't really uh, troublesome, but once if you leave them for one uh, turn. It's actually like 50 or so, and uh, that's helpful. Yeah. So, I can't... It's going to take them two turns before they surrender. Um, I could do that trick uh, that I told you about, like yeah. uh, d uh, disengaging and then re-engaging after I poison them, and I think I'm going to do it. Let me yeah, check if like it actually idea. works out. Just make but, sure your spy doesn't go in the wrong place again. So I'm going to just break the siege. That's it. Hopefully I can actually hit them again. Yep. And my spy is gonna try to sabotage them again. Poison provisions. Come on, be successful. Ah, they failed! Oh, that's a shame. Well, nevertheless, let me check if they actually... No, they have the three turns again. Mm, kind of bad, though, now that I see it. But it doesn't matter. They will get a few troubles with that. That's in circle yeah. time. I mean, if you keep trying it, eventually it's going to hit, and then they're yeah. just going to lose more and more men. Because, actually, when we fought, um, it was kind of kind of even there. Uh, actually, let me... Now that you mentioned it... Minus 12 on the food, and, and that means this guy is alone is giving me uh, 12. Yeah, indeed. So, yeah, actually, I'm going to move to Kasurgis, now that you mention it. Because um. I might need this army to assist me there. Oh, yeah. And on the and next turn... Close. Yeah. I, could, I can actually move them right away. Hmm. Into Force March. And then yeah, all the way Force over March. Holy crap. Wow. All the way over. So That's a big I, movement. Yeah, I wonder. That would make them much uh, unwillingly. So let me just spend one turn here. And maybe on the next turn I can move them without being in Force March. And that's yep. much... That would be better. Uh, I can't build anything. That's, that's for sure. Yeah, can I recruit any agents? I can recruit a champion. Great. Nice. I love champions. Um, My favorite agent. Yeah. Uh, a, uh, how do you use them usually? Because I tend to use I, them only for the public order. Oh, I usually use them with the uh, unit uh, experience thing, and I just shove them in an army and have them sit there the entire life. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, it can get more authority, actually, with a wise woman. Interesting. Thirsty for battle. This guy gives wealth. Well, that's fine. Okay, so I guess everything is done here. If he actually attacks me, I'm gonna retreat again. <laughs> that's basically it. Alright. Yeah, because then next turn you can move with both armies. So that makes a rule. We never, uh, to our viewers, we'll probably never try to pursue them, which is kind of bad. It's it's kind of like the, the usual uh, Shogun 2 idea. Just because of that small bug. Yeah. If we yeah, in Shogun 2 you can't even do it, can you? Yeah, you can't. I, I think it actually... I don't know how the code works. They Oh, they didn't attack me. So, I don't know how the code works out, but um, it should do something like... Uh, I was wondering, maybe it treats the battle as a, uh, a normal multiplayer battle, and that's the problem. Because right. it, it just takes you out of it. I, I got know. the plague in my uh, in my town now, but I come... Oh. A bag of cum, right? <laughs> <laughs> it actually means, uh, uh, in Portuguese, it's a drink. <laughs> yeah, it's, wow. uh, how do you say, uh, you know, uh, uh, god damn it, what is it? Uh, it's not cognac. It's, it's, um, Bourbon? Uh, no, no, no. Um, aguardente, how, how do I say? Um, fiery water, let, let's call it. Uh, you know when you have, um, um, when you withdraw the alcohol, when you make an alcohol beverage out of a sugar cane. I think that's the idea. Uh, or out of herbs, you know? Yeah. It's, 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 um, it looks like water because it has no color. It's in, in color, right? It's, yeah. That's how you say it. Yeah. And it burns like hell. And that's the right. drink. That's the drink. Right, okay. Oh, nice, my sabotage worked again, by the way. They still didn't attack me, I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> yeah. They really don't want to come for well, me. Well, at this point you can actually move, do the same thing that I was trying, you know, move both of your armies. Yeah, exactly, that's what I'm uh, thinking together. of doing. Yeah. 
Uh, let's yeah. see. Poison provisions plus six percent casualties for all units. Yeah, I think I will take that. Mass yeah. poisoning. Sounds good, man. That ability is freaking amazing. I didn't, yeah, I really yeah. didn't know it was that good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. You leveled up too. And uh, the, the strangest thing, the AI seems to never go for that. They or actually they are they are really bad for it. They usually go um, against the the buildings on the on the capital. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, that's yeah. what I've noticed as well. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. A good idea might be to move my army all the way over. Um, anyway, like my second army, because they um, uh, there's a plague in Bagacom. I I'm not sure how that works. Does it like because it, it's not on it's not on my army just yet? So would it does it mean that if I keep my army there, it starts going on the army as well? Or and if I move them out, it won't? Or uh, can you if you click your uh, settlement, it yeah. is, there's something that appears on your left screen, right? And there's uh, some small yeah. icons. You know, it says about the food and such, and there's yeah. some small icons below, and those icons might tell you the province effects. That's the yeah. Idea. It gives me minus ten public order per turn. It interrupts unit replenishment and it interrupts provincial growth. So nothing for the units, it seems. No, but does it? Can it like spread to the units or? Uh, or I think it doesn't. I think it doesn't actually. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, I'll just leave them there for now. I think um, yeah. I'll start moving them maybe the turn after. Yep. Or two turns from now, if they still don't want to attack me anyway. Yeah. I guess I could do what what you did as well as just siege them, but I think they would attack me right away because they know they have a better army than I do. Yep. Yeah. So I think I'll wait on that. Uh, a trade gained. What is that? Poison provisions plus ten percent casualties for our units. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be great. And for instance, uh, I use the champions for the. Um... Oh, I now have the plague as well in Lepfurden. The plague oh, wow. is spreading. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it seems to be. Uh, I did get the farm, but it's not enough. The matrician and such. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, by the way, the champion, I can get it to do something like plus eight to public order. Really easy. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's, that's really that's good. That's really good. Yeah. So what I actually want is to use them to use him on Kasurjis. And now I can actually move the, the, the army really easily. Nice. Could hire some mercenaries as well, but nah, doesn't seem like I need that. Is the army gonna be in range? Uh, barely, I believe. It can reach their their province. Their province, region. but it can't reach. No, it won't. Uh, it won't do that. I need hmm. to do the do it on forced march, actually. <laughs> I like like when he talks and says something like stragglers would be left behind or something like that. <laughs> okay, so now I should attack and have all of my army with it. Yep. Let me check the idea. Yeah, completely change the stuff. So I think we have time for this, do we? Uh, yeah. Well, I do. I don't know about you. How you well, want to do this? Yeah, I'm gonna let let's try it out. If something, I'll just leave a warning for my for my viewers. If there, if the video is finishing, it's because I decided to put the the battle on the next video. All right. That will be just it. So yeah, let's uh, find it out. Assault it. Sure. I actually oh, want yeah. to know if they will try to um, sell you out. That'd be quite nice. They oh, are yeah, selling out. I've seen if I've seen that before as well. I didn't. I um I didn't even know that was like a thing. Did they add that later, or was that yeah, already in the game? Yeah, they added on one patch, and it was kind of. Out of the blue, you know, they said, oh, the enemy will have a lot of chance to sally out. And yeah. I think they sally, it has to do with the the, the force, you know, so it's, uh, the idea seems good, but when you think of it, if they will always sally when they, 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 they seem to have a, a fighting chance, then the, the other, uh, the, the, the problem is that when they are really weak, they will fight on the, on the city. And when yeah. they are really weak, you will auto resolve. You see, yeah, exactly. See the, the problem. So most of the times are sally outs. There, that, that's why there are there are a lot of uh, um, a forum uh, guys saying that oh now all the the siege battles are selling out. Yeah. You know? And it's at least it doesn't mean that the there's decisions. more. Yeah. yeah at, at least it doesn't mean that there's there's more uh, field battles, which I prefer over all the siege battles. Same, same. I, I but, agree. Yeah, it's uh, it is a bit silly. 
Yeah. No, it's just that idea of, uh, okay, let's make this so that it doesn't happen, and then they create another problem. Yeah, exactly. Know? Yeah. So, since they are sailing out, I'm actually going to wait until you have your army around me. And, yeah, I do have... Are you going to give me the reinforcement army? Exactly, that's, that's, All what, right, cool. that's what I think. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah. So now I can actually use this army. I don't know how you usually fight uh, armies, or what strategy do you usually use. I try to kill the opponents. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice. <It's, laughs> that reminds me of uh, uh, a movie where, you, where the guy says, do you know how to use that thing? Referring to a sword. And he says, yeah, stick the, uh, stick the punchy end, end <laughs> to the enemy. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me check where are my reinforcements. Oh, here they are. And they're right behind. Okay. This is one thing that I actually love. It's the. It's no longer 20 uh, against 20 units. It's 40 against 40 most of the time. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Although like I do, I do often like smaller battles as well. Just uh, so you don't have to micromanage as much, but they can still be very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give them all to you. There you go. Let's see. Uh, so they are way far away. They're really far away. Well, they they might be concealed by the fog, actually. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna speed up. You know, fast forward until yep. there's some action. Uh, actually, for my viewers, since I want to um, squeeze this in, I'll just pause my um, my video for now. Yeah, that sounds good. My viewers still get to enjoy us fast forwarding through yeah. uh, unit deployment. Yeah. So the thing about the game, um, for instance, I, I had this experience with Diablo 3, where I don't know if you played it, but the game yep. began. The game began really. Uh, not really bugged, it didn't seem really bugged for me, it worked perfectly, but it wasn't what everyone was expecting uh, to be. Yeah. Nevertheless, uh, I thought it was, you know, decent fun for what I asked for. So yeah. I kept playing and now it's becoming uh, uh, what most people wanted. So that's what kept me going into Rome 2, you know, like, oh, let's give it a shot. You know, I already had started a few Let's Plays on, on the channel, so I, okay, let's uh, leave it a go. And yeah. it's getting to be quite nice now. I, I think it's... Yeah, definitely. Uh, I, I still prefer Shog Shogun 2 more personally, yeah. but it's not a bad game. I, I enjoy it. It's definitely worth it to me to play it right now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they're moving, by the way. I think they might be just uh, waiting for us to make a move. Yeah, same thing. So I'm just going to move up. This is one thing that I actually love. It's the cursor keys to move everything else. You know? Oh, yeah. I like the dragon uh, dragon move as well. Yeah. Where you just click on the... Well, you basically select everything and then click on everything. Yeah. Or on one unit and it drags them all forward. And, uh, yeah, arrow keys. I used to do that on Shogun 2, but I always used, like, you know, on the bottom left, you have, a, you have, like, a little compass, which I used. Mm -hmm. But um, it's similar. So I can only see some Celtic Slingers and they are Levy Freeman there. Oh, yeah. So the Levy Freeman are here, which means that almost everything is there, actually. Yeah. They seem to be set up facing like only the four units you have on the side for some reason, as if that's the only thing they can see. Actually, that looks like, yeah, that is the only thing they can see. I guess you're hiding behind the hill or the forest. Yeah. Exactly. Um, which is did did you play Path of Exile by the way? Since you talked about uh, Diablo. No, actually, I I hadn't uh, played Path of Exile. I, I watched it on Creeparian's stream a little bit. Uh, I don't know if you know the, the yeah, player. Yeah, yeah, I know him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched it a little bit, and I, I got like, okay, should I play both? You know, Diablo and that. And I decided to go with Diablo at uh, at that point because I was right, I yeah. wasn't having I didn't had uh, way too much time and I was also playing uh, StarCraft two at the same time because you know I got the, I kind of got hooked into StarCraft two and then I was okay Diablo three good game to to play with my friends at home and that all started from there I actually right. managed to sell something on the the auction house for money even nice which which was like my oh. Uh, I suddenly arrived to, to my friends and said, Oh, I, I want some money. Well, how much? Ten, ten euros? And I was like, No, 200, man. That was awesome. <laughs> but, oh well. 
that was kind of a, a nice experience. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into recording. Yep. And here we go back, guys. For smart talking, nothing actually happened. We were talking. <laughs> of, we were actually talking about uh, other stuff. Yeah. So let me. Oh, let me put play. Play. That's it. He is sending his light horse. But my own skirmishes are gonna destroy them. I'm not nice. even gonna bother them. Actually, I, I've no seen a, a few men, yeah. Oh, he's sending his noble horse against me, actually. Oh, that might be a good thing, actually, if you manage to kill him yeah. early on. Yeah. I'm uh, doing a flanking thing here. Yeah. I'm gonna position my uh, skirmishes where they can actually attack. These gen gentlemen are gonna move in. I don't think fast. they have any idea what they're doing anymore. Look at them all running. Completely disorientated. Yeah, well, that is. Okay. The good thing about the tactical map is that you can actually hit it really fast and just check where everything is. Germanic youth! That's one thing that I Yeah, Celtic. Uh, or not Germans Celtic, the uh, Germanic us. youths are really cool against these, these guys. Warriors. Okay, can you Welcome engage? Yeah. Yep, I'm uh, coming in now. Levy. Ready. Yeah, my, my flank is actually going to do Proud most of the deal here. Germania. Spearmen. Germanic youths. I'm losing a lot on this guy, that's fine. I've got the uh, flank nearly there now. It's gonna come in completely on their side. Yeah, that will make cause them to rout immediately. I'm gonna lose a little bit of men on this uh, on this angle here, but after you come in, then it's done. They were only wavering because... Oh, actually, they are retreating. Oh, there's the noble horse there. Yep. Yeah. Well, once you arrive. Frenzy all of these guys. Oh, these aren't the guys that. Oh, hold on. Wait. Yeah, these aren't the guys that can. Oh, these are spear levies. That's why. I thought I could frenzy with these guys, but I can't. I can do cavalry counter tactics, but that's not gonna help. Yeah. Most of his uh, of my left flank is destroyed, but that's where you are. So. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, most of his units are now starting to waver. Yep. At least they are fleeing before they are actually destroyed. And now his general is dead, so... Nice. That's fine. Yeah, he's nearly constricted, so... Good. And now I won't pursue. That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's just end the battle. Okay. Alright. Besides the victory, that's good. Yeah. Quite nice. Indeed. Oh yeah, you did I lose a few men there, that's fine. Yeah, so long as I didn't actually lost uh, full, full units. units. Yeah. yeah. That's all that's all I care about always. Yeah. As long as I don't lose the full units, fine. Well, if I do lose full units, I try them to be the mercenaries, at least. Yeah, yeah. But I, I barely I don't use mercenaries enough. Like even when I could use them, I just don't think about them. Yeah. I only use is uh, sometimes I, I buy them just for one battle. Yeah, just and then so disband them. So he doesn't actually get access gets access to them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah, and then yeah, just disband them right after, just because they're 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 like buying them is not that expensive. It's like it's quite expensive, but not that expensive. And then the upkeep is what really makes them ridiculous. Yeah, it reminds me of Rome One where. There was some units that the upkeep was higher than the cost. Like, uh, I think on the Egypt faction, the bowmen or the skirmishers were actually, you know, you could use them like, I'm gonna buy them and I'm just gonna lose them and there's no problem at all because they cost more in upkeep than the rest. Yeah, than exactly. Their cost. So I, I would just buy them and send them away. Yeah. So it's just waiting for you. Yeah, my loading screen is... Uh, like you're slow. Yeah. It doesn't seem like I lost pretty much anything. That's good. good. Alright, here we go. Good. Yeah, your flag seems pretty uh, full there. Yeah. So far, no, uh, no desync issues either, by the way, which I'm happy about. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of them was pretty uh, bad. Oh, the boy was actually destroyed here. So pretty, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. good. I'm happy. I'm happy about it. Uh, I can actually convert one of these uh, buildings into Friju, I, be I believe. Yeah, because I need that one for... What was Thuranas? Public order, wealth from industry. I guess that makes sense. You know, you know, for instance, I have a barbarian hamlet with gold that gives me industry. So having a, uh, you know, these, uh, how, it, how is it called? Um, synergies, you know? You have industry, then you build anything that gives up more industry. That usually is the, the main idea for, right. for my place. I didn't actually know, by the way. Apparently, wait, hold on. Yeah, I'm I'm Celtic, uh, fact, uh, Celtic uh, culture, and you're Germ Germanic culture. I, I thought they were all the same. Like the barbaric ones were all the same. Oh no, not. there's uh, three or four actually. Oh wow! I didn't yeah, know because they can form up Celtic, they can f uh, confederation, they can form Gallic confederation, they can form Germanic. Oh, yeah, Gallic as well, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's kind of a different uh, type of culture, which helps out. It helps out. All right. Lot. Yeah, I just um, gotta make sure that we don't take the same province then. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna stop the video in a little bit, uh, or we should actually stop. I mean, well, I'm yeah, if you end your turn, I'll save it on our on my turn, and then I'll end it there. Yeah, I'm just checking in Budorgis. Uh, yep, I noticed. These guys seem to be just if they only have that, I'll take it. Yeah, even though yep. it's it's uh, it's Silesia and not Swabia. Uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. So yeah, um, I do you want to say anything before? Uh, do you want to end your turn and then, and then we end it on my turn? Oh, just so I can yeah, save it there? Probably better. Let me check a uh, small check if I build everything else. It seems so. Minus 27, minus 74. I should have uh, no troubles there. And yeah, end the turn. Alright. Uh, one. Oh, I can issue an edict. That's right. Oh, nice. Yeah, you got a full province now. Yeah. And that's actually on the best one because I do need the bread and games to help out the public order. Oh you know? yeah, and the food is good. Yeah. Oh, the food. Thank you. Thank you, actually, because I can untext the province now. Cool. Yeah. Good news. Because there's the reservoir. Good. So, end the turn. I'm winning a lot of money now. Good. How much are you making? 2,200. And that's supporting one and a half armies. That's Yeah, that's, uh, that's a little more than I'm making right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, I'm still waiting till I can take my first down region. Yeah. Uh, the Kirushi want a non-aggression pact. I won't have that. I'm actually thinking that I might send you some aid, like one or uh, one army, and even raid someone in the in the process. Something like that should should be fun. Indeed. Yeah. Because of course you do you do start with. Uh, um, a smaller province. It's like Sparta start. Yeah, exactly. But uh, it's, it's not too bad. All right, so uh, quickly go through these things. Ooh, plus five percent research rate. That's not bad. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we should end it there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we shall see you next time. Yeah. Cheers, guys.